Hello students, a very good morning to all of you. All are fine, doing good? Yes. So, we are going to start a new chapter, chapter number 3, Manners in Computer Lab. I know you all are allowed to use computer, but before using a computer, before using to learn a computer, we need how kind of care we need to take of a computer. So, dear children, as computers are very important to us, we should take special care of them. If you are having a special toy that you love, so what do you do? You always keep them safe. Am I right? So as well, computers are very important to you and you should take special care of them. For protecting our computers, we should always follow some basic rules. It is necessary to behave well in the computer lab. Let us learn the correct way to behave in the computer lab. So we will learn some basic things that we need to follow while we are sitting in computer lab or while we are going to computer lab. But apart from it, we will also do a activity. In this activity, we will just take a right on good manners and we will take a cross on the bad manners. Understood? So, our first sentence is form a queue to enter the computer lab. I am repeating my line. Form a queue to enter the computer lab. Walk in quietly. Yes. Here is a word Q. What is the mean by Q? Simply I can give an alter word of Q is line. Are you seeing this image? Let me just use a pen. This image. Are you seeing this image? In this image, kids are in a Q, in a line. And teacher is standing here. So while you are entering the computer lab, you also need to make a queue. Understood? For this, in this image, they are all, they, these kids are also in a queue. I hope you are understood the mean of queue. Queue means a line. So, form a queue to enter the computer lab, walk in quietly. What is mean by walk in quietly? Walk in quietly means while you are entering the computer lab, you need to be very quiet. Don't talk with each other. Understood? So, walking quietly. Understood? Okay. So, see. These kids are in a queue. These kids are in a queue. Queue? No. So this is cross. This queue, these kids are in a queue. Yes, they are entering in computer lab. They are seeing very sincere and they are walking quietly. So this is right set. Understood? So form a queue to enter the computer lab, walk in quietly. This is our first statement. Or first rule, first way. So ne next is always consult your teachers or elders before working on the computer. Always consult your teachers or elders before working on the computer. Let me explain. This boy is sitting and not having some ideas of using computer. So he is just thinking what I do. 
but this kids while using computer he is taking consult with the elder if he is having some doubt he just asks to elder how do he do understood so this is wrong and this is right one always consult your teachers or elders before working on the computer so do not our next statement sorry i go forward our third statement is do not touch the wires w i r e s wires do not touch wires and cables when the computer is on this is written here on what is mean by this line if your computer is on you are not allowed you are not supposed to touch the wire or cable like this this is cross this is not good way to use computer always be sincere while you are using a computer so do not touch the wires and cables when the computer is on he is not touching the wires and anything any one cables and anything so this is a right image understood next always press the keys of keyboard gently always press the keys of keyboard gently keys of keyboard do you know meaning of it i know you already done parts of computer in class first so i know you know the meaning of keys of keyboard keyboard this is keyboard and small buttons on a keyboard are known as keys you always press it gently don't press again to again and continuously never if you are working on computer press it gently means one by one very slowly and very lovingly understood so c c is doing very correctly but he is just pressing so this is cross and this one is right always sit straight on your chair in front of the computer even not front of the computer i'll suggest when you are sitting somewhere even in bench of your classes uh, even on chair at your home or you are just sitting on floor always sit straight it help it improve your uh, mind thinking skill and etc so always sit sit straight is he sitting straight no so this is cross but he is sitting straight so this is right 